we uh, heard a couple of verses from a couple of psalms already this morning, and there's another psalm, Psalm 139, where the writer reminds us that one of the things that made him praise God is that he could see that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. And it's good to be reminded of that again. He wasn't writing that because everything was easy, because everything was perfect. He was writing it because he knew he was in trouble. Now, we've all been preoccupied, I think, this year with things that go wrong with our bodies. Maybe that's understandable and it's, it's right that people are trying to be careful. But it's so good to remember uh, the things that are well made about our bodies, well designed, that, that they're not there just by chance. And, and we've been, everybody's been thinking about masks, haven't they? Everybody's been thinking about things to protect our breathing. But we don't always stop and think just how well protected our breathing already is. You think about your nose. Your nose is there on your face. It's, it, it's not just there to make you pretty. I mean, noses are quite pretty. You look a bit odd without a nose. But your nose is there to do some important things as well. And one of them, of course, is to breathe through. And you can breathe in and out through your nose. You can get the air in and out. The problem is you don't, you want the air to get in and out, but you don't want everything else to get in as well. You don't want smoke to get in and bits of dust to get in and you don't want bugs to get in uh, if, if you can help it. You don't always look inside your own nose, it's a bit difficult to see isn't it? But if you did look inside your own nose you'd see it's just full of hair and you know some people as they get a bit older their hair starts to poke out doesn't it? That's not particularly pleasant but there's lots of hair inside and that's where it belongs and, and breathing in and out through your nose it's a little bit like breathing through this. You can, you can see as I hold this scrubber up the light gets through it and if you had to breathe through it, the, the, the air would get through it fine. But lots of bit, big bits and pieces wouldn't be able to get in through it. The hairs block the stuff that isn't meant to get in. And it's not just that the hairs are there, they're covered in glue. So if there's any bits that are trying to get through, instead of being able to sort of punch away through the hole, the glue sticks onto them until your nose can, can clear them out of the way when you sneeze or blow your nose or whatever. It's an amazing piece of protection. Now, we're living in a fallen world. We're living in a world where there's illness, where things go wrong. And it's right at the moment that we have to do extra things to, to, to try and counteract some of the, the problems that, that causes. Masks to keep other people safe and so on. But don't ever forget the things that we don't need to think about, but the things that just work about our bodies. Every day you haven't had, every day of your life that you haven't had some nasty infection. It's a reminder. It's a reminder of God's grace. It's a reminder that we're fearfully and wonderfully made.